In this video, we are going to be discussing should you learn jQuery in 2021? So is jQuery worth learning in 2021? So this is really important for new developers who are just starting out and trying to figure out what technologies they should learn to make themselves more employable and to be able to build projects successfully. So according to the Web Technology Surveys website, over 80% of all the websites online are using some form of JavaScript. And from all those websites that are using JavaScript, 96% of them still use jQuery. So with that in mind, there are so many websites using jQuery that it makes sense to be able to do the basics of jQuery. So the reason you want to do that is that you are at some point in your career going to be working with other people's projects that are built several years ago. And many of these will still use jQuery and it will make your life so much easier if you know the basics of jQuery. So for that reason, I would highly recommend learning the basics of jQuery. So you don't need to go too deep into learning jQuery, but it is highly recommended you learn some of the key features. Another thing to consider is that jQuery is bundled along with Bootstrap and Bootstrap is used on many, many websites as a template to, to build really robust websites. So a lot of the plugins and the, the features that are part of Bootstrap require the use of jQuery. So jQuery comes pre-installed when you use Bootstrap. So that in itself is a big reason why you should consider learning the basics of jQuery. Now, many people say that jQuery is a dying language and it's on its way out. That may be the case, but for the foreseeable future, we are still going to be using jQuery in existing websites and existing applications. So I still use jQuery in some of the apps that I create, and you've probably seen this in some of the videos I have put onto YouTube. So some of the builds that I do, I use jQuery simply because it's so easy to use, and I've used it for a long time. It just makes sense sometimes to do DOM interaction and uh, Ajax requests and things like that using jQuery just for the ease of use. But over time, I think that we will see less and less jQuery usage but that depends on these frameworks like Bootstrap, for example. If they drop jQuery at some point, then we will start to see the decline of jQuery much faster. Even in many of the job applications today for developers, jQuery is still mentioned quite frequently because they also have to support the previous applications that they have built. So companies still need to support jQuery as part of their web application or part of their website. Even if you look at open source websites or open source platforms like uh, WordPress, for example, it still uses jQuery for many of the plugins. So as a result, many of these open source content management systems and frameworks are still using jQuery. And due to that, we will still need to be able to support jQuery. So for that reason, I recommend learning the basics of jQuery. And even though it seems quite old school compared to many of the new JavaScript frameworks that are coming out, it will still be really beneficial to learn the basics of the jQuery library so that you are ready to take on existing code from other projects. So I think even as a new developer or an up and coming developer, it's very important to be able to support the legacy projects that you will face in your career. So whether you're working for an agency or a uh, software development house, or even if you're just working freelance, you're going to be working with projects that still use jQuery. And if you don't know how to use jQuery, then it's going to become a problem. So I do think that it's worth spending a few days just learning the basics and you can add it to your resume and you can support it in the projects that you work on. So that's my thoughts on this topic and uh, hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. So let me know in the comments if you still use jQuery in 2021 and your thoughts on learning it also, because this is just my perspective. Uh, I'm sure that many developers will have a different viewpoint on this. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more content from me, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one.